We got some breaking news to report to y'all. The Pacers and Raptors are finalizing a deal for Pascal Siakam. Details are still being worked out, but the Pacers are sending the Raptors Bruce Brown, Jordan Noir, and three first-round picks for Siakam. According to ESPN, the first-rounders include two in 2024 and one in 2026. I believe it's the Pacers pick they own this year and the Thunder uh, 2024 pick, so both would, will presumably be like in the mid-20s, so rather boo-boo first-round picks, and then one in 2026. It's done. We, the news is here. Not, no smoke for Siakam? All right, yeah, I see what time it is. Y'all not tripping? No. Nobody man. cares? Well, we don't care. Nobody. No, I mean, <clears throat> we do not I don't, care. I mean, the only, I mean, well, 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 shit. I mean, fuck, Milwaukee got to stay. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're, so, they're one team that, that has mean, been struggling this year. I mean, said that what's-his-name Halbert needed was someone who could generate their own offense a little bit. So will Siakam like, be a good fit for the Pacers? It depends what position they put him at because he's been playing center for the last fucking three years. <laughs> I mean, they're going to put him at his real position, small forward. Mm. They have Miles Turner there. As a center. That's what I'm I know. So they're going to so put, put him in his natural position. Are they going to put him in his natural position, shooting uh, small forward? Or are they going to do that small ball shit, put him at the five, and then run to why he can't do it? Well, let me text Rick Carlisle real quick. <laughs> Get some players. <laughs> Hold on. As, I mean, I as, long as, it, yeah, as, as long as he's the small forward, I think that's going to help a lot. It's a good move, good pickup for him. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So Mark Spears is reporting that Siakam is expected to sign an extension with the Pacers, so this doesn't appear to be a short-term thing. That's what he was looking for. He had previously curved the Kings, who were trying to get him. He wasn't really feeling that crew, or maybe just the city of Sacramento. No clue. We picked Indianapolis. So he <laughs> decided to go to Indianapolis instead of Sacramento. <laughs> what? If you're Sacramento, do you feel disrespected? Sacramento? Huh? No, I'm going to Indianapolis. Nobody. You going to Indianapolis over Sacramento? Hell yeah. Really? Okay. Mr. I mean, I mean, Sacramento, I mean, nobody. Cause I'm have a, a, Macramento? Because I'm going to have a better chance to win if I'm in, it, like, in, on the east and the west with Sacramento. Like, that's fair. That's fair. West is you know they was rated the, the most ugliest uh, city? Who? Sacramento. The most, the most ugly. ugliest. Yeah, the most. They was ranked one most <clears throat> ugliest city in America. Like as far as like, people. Did, yeah, but like, <laughs> no, who, I, who I, just I, walked I around it? looking like because yeah, like who lives there? Polit you know, our, what our state like, politicians. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how, how do they figure that out. Right. Like, do they go through like the DNV? Be like, ooh, ooh, ah, this <laughs> is <laughs> number one, y'all. <laughs> yeah, like how does they? How do they? But they rank them that. as like the ugliest. You can Google, yeah. The ugliest. I would like to see a top ten list of that. The ugly, yeah, it's ugly. <laughs> we're, we're like cities like with the top, the top ten ugliest buildings. people ever. Yeah, I was like, dang, that's crazy. That's, just, that's, a, that's a rude <laughs> list to create. Yeah. I don't support that. <laughs> <laughs> so, what does a Halliburton uh, Siakam pick and roll look like? And if you're Tyrese, how happy are you? Are you? What the fuck are they pick and roll? He's not a five man. Gil? He's a small four. He should Gil? be isolating, playing his man one on one. He's six nine. One on one. That's not tall anymore, Gil. Paul George is a shooting guard at 6'9". Okay, that's... So, no. <laughs> Wimby Yama is a small forward at 7'5". I know, so, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, 6'9 ain't tall no okay. more at that position. Hey, yo, with these trades, yo, they got to start, like... Yo, they should start filming these trades, like, when it happens. Behind so, like, the we scenes? can see, like, behind the scenes of, like, the reactions of, like, the front office. Like, when they make these trades. So, oh, the like, front office? Yeah, like, the front office. So, say, like, when the trade is complete, and then, like, we can go back to it. Like, so if it worked or if it didn't work, we can see who the idiot is and who the genius is. That would be nice. I would like to see players' like reactions. the right people. Yeah. It don't work. Players', players reactions when they literally don't find out from the team and, and see Woj or Shams tweet, yeah. and that's who how they learn that they got Who do they just post in practice getting traded? Two players from... Was it Detroit? Detroit. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. I first of all, I'll be mad as hell. I did a whole practice, and y'all like, my. I mean, I, you tell me tell, before. Y'all gotta tell me before <laughs> practice. Tell me I mean, before. It's good for, I mean, that's just what TV is now. Like, but just to see like the reaction, like, and then look back like five years, like that was a dumbass trade. Like, <laughs> so like hard knocks for who, basically? Yeah. Okay. Hard knocks for like, will be like, fired. Like, not a messed up one is this one when you're getting traded during the game, right? So you're in the middle of the game, and they gotta pull you out of the game. Mm. After you done know, already got your... Nah, you, done, nah, you already done started, because you know that messes up your scoring, you know, all your stats. You're like, 
Hey, no, no, sub, sub, sub. <laughs> like, what happened? Now you've been treated. <laughs> like, damn. That's crazy. Yeah, and he mic'd up. So, like, the league already had you mic'd up knowing. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up, man. It's, it's, it's ruthless out there. <laughs> so, Halliburton obviously had the, uh, with the hamstring injury. He'll be coming back, hopefully, in the near future. What does adding Siakam mean for the Pacers in the East? They're currently the sixth seed right now. Can they crack the top four or even top three with Siakam? Mm, he still got to get adjusted to that speed that they play at. Right, um, you know that's a different that's a different a different level of moving, and I don't think he's ever been used to moving that fast. A lot of people haven't, you know what I mean. So um, he's gonna probably have to get in shape to just move with them like that. So it's gonna take a couple weeks, you know, before you can really see what they have. And then when Hallenburn gets back, that's yeah. another adjustment because mm -hmm. right now he's gonna be playing without him, so he don't really know what he brings. For sure. Yeah. What is the average? Siakam. Let me probably just twenty. Just 20. I'm saying just 20 because that's right. And who's the leading scorer for? Oh. Six and five. Just solid. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they need that. They don't have. Does Indiana they don't, even have? They don't, a, don't have nobody else that can. They do don't that. have a 20 point score other no, than. No, they, they need. They need. Okay. They need a ISO. They need a ISO 101 player. Yeah. So uh, Pacers are four and one, I believe, versus the Bucks this season. Yeah. Bucks currently four holding. and one. They've played five times. They played five because of the in season oh, tournament. The, the but Bucks currently holding down the two spot. Should the Pacers be trying to, to gun for that three spot to see the Bucks in the second round? I don't know if they're gonna get past four. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, if, if you go four or one against somebody in the regular season, you definitely yeah, that you means know. nothing. Like, I mean, but you definitely that that definitely for them that has confidence. Like they have confidence. They feel like that. Mm -hmm. Like and they should. Especially if they have their point guard back, they should. So they'd be ducking the Celtics base is what I'm saying to the Eastern Conference Finals if they can make it that far. I mean, beating somebody in the regular season because your offense is, you know, is tuned in versus the playoffs where the game is slowed down, everything is in half court. So um, Pacers, this is a perfect trade for them because they need a half court player, right? So when the game slows down, they got somebody to pass the ball to. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, we talk about their defense too. Like, they're not going to win a series playing defense the way they're playing. Exactly. So they got to tighten that up. Oh, they're not winning even, they're not even getting out the first round with that. No, they're playing yeah. defense the way they're playing. What are you, no six? They're six, six in the East right now, so they would face the three. Sixers yeah. in that 3-6 matchup. Even, even six, then you got five. I don't even be know. Fifth seed. Who's the fourth seed? They can't beat the uh, Cleveland. Uh, Cleveland right now. It's they Cleveland, beat, Miami, uh, Indy. They can't beat the Sixers right now. Is that no, no. Can they beat Cleveland? <laughs> they can beat Cleveland. Yeah. I mean, with Donovan? Oh, I don't know. Wait, without their point guard? Or with? No, with, no, with, with, with a team, team at a yeah. close to full Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, with their point guard, they can. 